Alright, anyway, today the Saints are taking on the Dogs for a match day vlog. Thursday night footy, it is going to be a pretty big one considering both sides are two and three, and I feel like the loser, their season is in real trouble. I'm gonna tip the Saints, of course. I think we should expect a win given this. the Dogs just aren't really going very well at the moment. I think the Saints, be not a very high scoring game. I think the Saints get it up by three goals. That's my prediction, a three goal win. We get it done in the second half. Kick the first goal through Norton. I tell you what, the dogs I feel like Norton just probably gonna have one of those games without Eagle Hagen. He's he's one player who isn't playing who's a bit of a big out for them. Um, he could kick four or five possibly. Well use looks to be good. Good kick from Hill. Cavanetti gets the mark and a chance for our first goal. And he's got the goal. Piece. Could be a good game as a neutral, possibly. Uh, early call for that, though, that's for sure. Oh, they're paying high there. That sucks. The dog's going to kick their second goal here, and they're getting a little bit more dominant now, I feel like. Waitman really can't miss it from here. And the dogs have their second. Dogs have kicked a couple quick ones through Waitman to make it a 13 point margin. And uh, we are giving the dogs too much space inside 50. Pretty easy, honestly, the way they've been getting their goals. That Waitman through, through the centre clearance and there was no one on him. So, we're going to fix that up defensively. Uh, yeah, it's still early days, but surely we don't let the dogs play into form. Another spoil from Cordy, a row from Waitman and a finish that is off the top shelf. Waitman's kicked another goal. He's kicked three now in three minutes. Shouldn't be a smashing. It's like the last two weeks. The first half, we just haven't been able to come to play. Uh, Ross Lyon, get rid of those aliens and get the fucking plays on the ground. Because I'll tell you what, Waitman should be kicking three in the uh, first quarter. Not in three minutes. Jumped and taken. Norton waited it down. Has a bounce. How about a finish for the big fellow? Oh, oh, yeah. What is this? Why haven't we come out to play like we finished the Giants game? So Norton goes, kicks the goal. It's 5 1 to 1 straight. I think the dogs have now kicked four goals in seven minutes. Probably definitely been the worst start of the year now. Thought maybe after the first few would start to get back into gear. It's gotten worse and worse. Riley West is lining up for the seventh of the dogs and they're six in a row. The crowd will tell it all if you can kick this. He'll kick it up to the top of the square. Umpire blows the whistle. And the Western Bulldogs get a free kick out of nothing. This is absolutely disgraceful. On a Thursday night time slot, in front of the big prime time stage, against the Dogs team who are full of problems, and they're gonna kick seven goals to one in the first quarter with still time to go. chance there but no excuses for that garbage still marshal all the, the big senior leaders to lift in the second quarter and in, in the next three we've come back a few times this season but it's hard to see anything happening from here 37 points at quarter time to be down by you're kidding me like what is this another chance here though oh this is this is not good oh you're kidding me Dale Me. We're not on today at all. As if no one knew that he was going to do that. The Bulldogs were the first of the second quarter. In fact, the first four scores of the second quarter, and it's 46 points. It's almost unrecoverable now. No way any AFL side could possibly screw this up. We're so lucky that we got that. Second goal, if you saw that. You would have seen that Burns kick it straight to Dogs play. He dropped it and Jones has got the goal. And finally there's something to cheer about. I don't think we've cheered for a goal in 40 minutes of playing time. This guy impressed me last week against the Giants in his second half. Riley Garcia, with a mark from seven metres out. Kicks this will be his first career goal. And it'll also give us two in a row. Garcia, 
Deserves a goal. And he's got it. Good on the side. He's got his first goal at AFL. The siren as well. English. Makes it 49 points at half time. Well, what can I say? There's nothing to say. Jesus, it's bad now. It's actually getting really bad. 55 points at the margin. I think that 2015 game, the Dogs hit the first goal that third quarter and made it 55 points. So let's just say, theoretically, if the result was to be St Kilda win, then we would be repeating history. This from just inside the 50. He can't miss. Oh, wow. What in the world? Fuck oh, yes. This is our season just about. Because we've got four next week away. That's probably not even worth going to now this rate. We'll be two and five with a bad percentage. Hardest things for these Saints fans to take in. Five consecutive Bulldog goals. They are blowing the Saints away. Get it! I'm trying to remember if I've seen a worse loss in the last four years, or even like a worse loss since making videos on the channel, as Norton takes it on, on four plates. I could almost make the argument this is the worst loss I've ever done in terms of a match day vlog, like I've watched live. Like it's halfway through the third and fans are already leaving. Half of the third, and the dogs are at 100 and are up by 72, with the fans already having enough. Could not even be a goal? And yep, there you go, it starts. We still can't buy a goal in the third quarter. This is ridiculous. I've had enough of this shit. This club is a joke. I might, I might just throw this off the, off the third tier. Look at them, they're leaving. Ah, oh, shit. It's not even three quarter time. It's 77 points. It's 77 points. Here's a chance for Mark Mills. Three quarter time, siren sounds. The margin extends once again. I think it's extended by at least 12 points in every quarter. The second was probably the best. It is 71 points. Uh, before I say anything, you know how pissed off I am. Do you want to give your thoughts on the uh, the game so far? It's been terrible. Apart from that, anything else? Um, goals kicking has been terrible. I don't know. You? Um, Saints could do better. Albert Einstein's over there giving the best uh, analysis of that quarter. Uh, Norton has six goals straight, so Norton's actually kicked more goals than the Saints have up until three quarter time. This was Aaron Norton v St Kilda, be a one point game. Giving up all hope of this club now, 77 points. Still technically a three point margin between the Saints and Aaron Norton. Probably will miss this. He doesn't. Come on, Saints. There you go. A few fans are cheering. Little do they know that we're in front by nine. They're looking at the wrong scores. Kick three in ten minutes at least. It's a good last quarter for memory. We'll beat Norton, but we're not obviously going to beat the Dogs. Just want to see one if the siren at this rate. to us that either we're really crap or maybe they'll be half decent but yeah I'm pretty flat I'm not going to say a lot more I'm probably going to get spat on if I don't stop this so see you soon for the next bit of content probably in Adelaide I don't know if I'm gonna, I probably still will go to Adelaide for the fourth game so that could be 100 points with the way that they're going